My name is Donato and welcome to my channel where today I'll be talking you through my new series that I'll be starting over the next four weeks. Let's crack on. Oh yes guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed just yet then please do click on that subscribe button and give this a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much for that. So yes, the next four weeks, four weeks, here in the UK, if you've watched my lockdown live from uh, last Thursday night, I'll be having one of those every Thursday night live for about half an hour, 40 minutes, 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. I did mention that I'll be starting a four week because we've got a four week lockdown here in the United Kingdom where we're allowed out once a day and essential shopping and so on. So I'll be doing the exercise. So I've decided to uh, focus on a shorter distance. There's no marathons, no races. So I'll be focusing on a basically a time trial at the end of this four weeks. And I'm looking at 10K at the moment. So I'll be doing a four week training plan for a 10K. And it's one that I've taken directly from Runners World website. I'll leave the link below so you can have a look at the details on there. And that's what I'll be following. In essence, I had the choice um, in types of the types of the t type term type a little bit. as I put my teeth in. I won't edit that out because I don't edit things out in my videos. Is that uh, the type of training is there was choice of three days, five days, and six seven days. I thought the three day one, whilst um, for those of you who've been watching my channel for many years from the very beginning when I completed my first marathon. It was only on three days of running training. That's right, just three days a week and managed to complete a 347 in that. But I found as my fitness has improved, I can handle sort of four or five days. Some weeks I may have even done six over the years, but I'm gonna try the five day training plan that uh, is on Runner's World. And the key thing is easy stuff, but it has like one good hard session on a Tuesday, I think, where it has repeats and I'll be following that particular plan. So it'd be good to see that. And also with my training shoes all coming to an end of their lives, I've decided to get some new ones. You may have seen that uh, I got my Torrent 2 Hoka in terms of doing some trails. So I needed uh, those for some easy type runs, hills and things. But also for this particular specific type of speedy work, as my uh, new balance have worn out now, here's my new, new shoes, yes. And again, as you may have seen on the live chat, this is the Socony Sacorny. Now you can pronounce this two ways, but I can read it with Halloween having just passed. It's, uh, you can either say Faz Twitch, as in a Twitch, or Fast Witch. You decide, there it is. Fast witch. So with Halloween having recently passed, I thought, yeah, obviously I'm a good witch, so these shoes will help me to go fast. They are super light, bouncy. I was toying between this and the new Rocket X from Hoka, because um, that's touted as the new flat. Let me put this uh, shoe down. It's touted as the new flat shoes from them, but having heard various people saying that uh, they could use it for marathon distance, which was uh, a bit of a shock to me, but i say it was between that, but then I had a 50% voucher from Socony to use, so uh, I thought let's use it on this. So 50 pounds, job done. Brand new pair of running shoes. Let's see how I get on with those. So I may do some reviews how those shoes are doing with those types of sessions. But for those of you who know me, yeah, shoes are shoes. As long as they're comfortable, I'll go out and do whatever training sessions in those. So that'll be the next four weeks training series, 10K, hopefully time trial at the end of it, fingers crossed, and I'm toying whether it be a 5K or a 10K time trial. I might try over the four weeks two different types, but I'll be focusing on not overdoing it as I think I may have done on the previous uh, series. I think uh, doing the 5K, 10K and marathon in consecutive weekends uh, was asking my body for a bit too much. And thankfully, I feel like I'm fully recovered now. I had a great uh, massage the previous weekend help get the um, quads cleared, calves, there was something going on in the calves, but in particular it was the hamstring and the glute. One glute in particular was oh, oh so tight, but uh, yes, you get a good uh, sports massage in there and get it uh, loosened up. So feeling great, all loosened up. So the sessions will start from this week. So I'll do as I've done before with the marathon training where I think I had eight weeks. So with this one, it'll be just four weeks, 
build up through the lockdown and put it in your diaries every Thursday, 7 p.m. during lockdown here in the UK, we're we'll doing a live broadcast Q&As. And I have a specific topic, which the last one was about five hacks um, to help you run faster without doing any additional running training, which a lot of you did enjoy. If you haven't seen it, go back and have a look at that on the replay. It's only 30, 40 odd minutes, and we had some good banter going, questions coming through live, which I really do enjoy. And I very much enjoy looking forward to seeing you at the next video and sharing this new series going forward, having a good time, enjoying our running as we always do. And I thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Thumbs up, subscribe. Hasta la vista, baby. Thank you.